What's good, Crown Family? I hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video bring a little light to your day. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit the like button, and also hit that bell to become a part of the Notification Squad. Also, after this video, be sure to check out my newest song, 2020. The link will be in the pinned comment. Now, today, we're going to check out my thoughts on roommates. And this is a video from the Odd First Out. This is my first time checking out their series. I heard a lot about it. I've seen a lot of people reacting to it. So, hey, let's go ahead and get straight to this now. Me Personally, I've only had one roommate in my life, and I had to have one to move to Atlanta because, you know, the, the place is out there expensive, so we had to share an apartment. But, hey, let's go ahead and see what they talking about, man. If you got any other non-music reactions you want to see me do, let me know in the comments, man. You know, I never really understood trigger words until I got roommates. I hated <laughs> my roommates. Except for you, Isaac. He watches my videos. Oh, James, <laughs> you didn't hate your roommates. You just mildly disliked them. Yes, I did. When I first nice. moved out of my house and went to college, the day I moved into my apartment and I opened the front door, this is what I saw. Keep in mind all the buildup that has gone into this moment. First, I had to get accepted into the school, then pick my major and classes. Then I had to find an apartment close to the school and get everything set up there. Then I had to pack everything up into a suitcase, kiss my dogs goodbye, and then- Wait, I always thought you had to stay in like a dorm when you, on your first year in college. I, I, I mean, I, I think, I don't know. Be all on my own for the very first time. I opened the door to where I'd be living for the next eight months, and this is what I see. Someone sleeping on a couch, he was wearing some bright fast food employee uniform, the TV is on, there's a Halo 5 poster hanging on the wall, the sink, counter, and table is full of dirty dishes, there's a big industrial sized trash can that is overflowing, inside the fridge there is an empty box of Dr. Pepper, a bottle of ketchup, and a jumbo Costco sized Yo. pack of hot dogs. Yo, that's a horrible first impression. I would have seen that. I'd be like, nah, bro. Nah, this ain't for me. Let me let me find somewhere else to stay. <laughs> Where did all these dishes come from? Fun fact, those hot dogs were still in the fridge when I left. But the worst thing that was wow. there was there was about a million basketball cards just lying on the floor. I'm not even exaggerating. Here's proof. Okay, so I got Why a single room pictures? because I brought all my drawing stuff, and I would feel bad if I shared a room with someone, and he had to deal with all my drawing stuff being there, and also I wanted to be alone. Looking back, I'm so glad I got a single room because that room couldn't even fit myself. Literally, I could stand in the middle of the room, hold my hands out, and without moving my feet, I could touch the walls of the room. Maybe Are I just have serious? long arms, I don't know. I mean, I could settle for a small bedroom, but what made living there so horrible were the roommates. What I didn't realize is that these boys also got private rooms, so that means that they too were social awkward and kept to themselves dang how many people had to stay in one apartment jeez oh let me hit my camera real quick because i know i fall asleep which you might think is a good thing but you'd be wrong on the first night of being by myself i unpack all my drawing stuff and i set it all up then i turn on the computer and the screen is just black nothing was turning on i tried everything to fix it and it just wasn't turning on eventually Why i contacted hammer? the people who made it sent it in and then i got it back working but during that week while the tablet was being fixed like, seriously, no joke, that was probably the worst week of my entire life. Yeah, I'm being serious, making mind. comics and YouTube videos was what kept me sane. And that first night of being on my own, and my tablet broke, I, I, I cried, guys. I couldn't even eat food, I was that sad. I hit rock bottom. I know exactly how you feel, bro. My MacBook broke, bro, I was sick. I ain't want to do nothing because on my MacBook, I do everything. I literally edit all my music videos. I record my music. Like, I, I, it's everything to me. And I could not do any of that when I didn't have my MacBook. Now, I did have this computer right here. But, you know, I couldn't really do too much with it because, you know, it didn't got the right specs and everything. But, yo, <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel you. I remember just watching Captain Sparkles and Game Grumps highlights all day. But then the day I got it back, I was a drawing machine. I posted <clears throat> a comic the very same day. So let's spend the rest of this video talking about these previously mentioned roommates I had. The first person I need to talk about is Isaac. He was the only one that I like, and he's also the only one I told that I made YouTube videos. <laughs> and this boy wore Obey hats, he vaped, and he said stuff like, that's dope. But you want to know why I liked him the most? Because he did the dishes! Like, me and him did the dishes. It wasn't just him, okay? I'd probably never become friends with him in any other circumstance. Just wanted to say that he was the cool one. I like him. Hi, Isaac. <laughs> I miss you. I was looking at this post on the internet, and it was where the old memes are today. And for the after picture for the scumbag Steve meme, it looked exactly like my roommate, who I'll just make up a fake name for, Steve for convenience. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was roommates with a meme. Just put a fedora on this meme, and boom, that's my roommate, 
it's Steve. And it was a very fitting meme too. This guy wouldn't do the dishes, he always cooked this ramen thing in the microwave, and would leave this gross juice stuff behind. So then when I would go to use the microwave, it would get my paper plate soggy. So I would have to check every time before I used it to make sure there was no juice stuff behind. And also at night he watched anime without headphones. It's always that lazy one in the group. It's always a lazy one. It has to be. It just has to be. <laughs> Subbed. Anime has a certain sound to it. I don't know if you knew that. It's like normal Japanese, but really emphatically. Luckily, it was usually late at night when he started watching, so I would just have to get to sleep before he started, and I would be all good. James, why didn't you just ask him to turn it down? I did! One night, I went into his room, and I said, Hey, man, yeah. can you turn it down? And you know what? He did turn it down for that night. That night. That one night. The very next <laughs> night. But you know, he wasn't too bad. He would spend most of his time in his room playing video games, and I would spend most of my time in my room drawing. So except for the microwave juice thing, we didn't get in each other's way too often. Here's actually a funny story. So when I was filming the part in the vegan video when I crumpled up Oreos over Reese's Puffs, Steve walked what? into the kitchen and he saw me filming this Wait, what type of mixture is that? Let me know in the comments if you ever try Oreos and Reese's Puffs. Now, I don't even think I've ever eaten that cereal before, let alone put Oreos in it. I don't know, it might taste good, I don't know. Sugary vegan concoction, and I just said to him, don't ask. Okay, so here's the roommate that I hated the most. His fake name will be Hunter. He was the one yeah. to sleep on the couch when I first walked in, and he was the one who had collected all those billions of basketball cards. Just basketball cards, and he kept them all in the front room. What's the point of having sports cards when you can't even play with them? I mean, I spend money on Magic the Gathering cards, but that's because it's an actual game that you can play with friends. What do you do with sports cards? I mean, I guess you can leave them in the front room of your apartment. Maybe one day your roommate might make a video about it, though. He left his Mountain Dew bottles on the floor, he farted in public, he would always complain that Steve didn't do the dishes, but he wouldn't do the dishes either. One time I was tired of doing everyone's dirty dishes, so I bought a big stack of paper plates for everyone to use, but Hunter took the paper plates to a party without even asking me, and he didn't serious? even bring them back. But the worst thing what? this guy did, one day he told me, my ex-girlfriend doesn't want our dog anymore, so he's coming to live here. What? So this boy wants to bring a dog Fact. in an already very small cramped apartment. I couldn't believe this. The dog's name was Snoopy and I loved him. Hunter would put him in his kennel at night, but one night I was like, Hey Hunter, Snoopy can stay with me if you want. And then boom, from that day forth, I was the one taking care of Snoopy. Snoopy would now sleep in my room, I would be the one who took him out for walks, and I fed him slices of lunch meat. What was great was that when I would go into the kitchen and Hunter would be watching TV, he would call for Snoopy. Snoopy! Snoops! Snoops! But he wouldn't come. This dog would follow me everywhere. And but the dog already knew. He was like, man, you don't even take care of me. I'll be calling my name now. Oh, I feel you, dog. Listen. Then one day Hunter <laughs> said, hey, do you just want to have Snoopy? I was going to get rid of him. Might and then I well. said I would take him. And then later that same week, Hunter moved out. He took all the toilet paper, too. He basically gave me a dog. And of course, I loved that dog. But we lived in such a small space, and I was always busy with school and drawing. I knew these weren't the best conditions for a dog to live in, and I'm pretty sure my apartment didn't even allow pets. So I asked people I knew if they wanted Snoopy, and my grandma got one of her friends to take care of him. So I dropped Snoopy off, and I've never seen him since. Wow. And that's it, the end. There was another roommate who I didn't even- Wait, why he didn't go see the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog, man. But well, at least he get in a good home. Mention, he always worked a lot, so I didn't really see him too much. He had an electrical toothbrush, and I think since I was already mad at my roommates, when I would be trying to go to sleep, and he would start brushing his teeth, I would hear the electrical toothbrush going, man, and I would just start shaking wild. with anger, like, <laughs> just use a normal toothbrush, too! Also, Oh my god, bro. I definitely gotta watch more of these. This is hilarious. Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> Why did he scream at the mic like that? He was like, oh! I want to thank you all for a million subscribers. I mean, as I'm recording this, I don't have a million just yet. But hey, when this comes out, maybe I'll have a million. Who knows? I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. There could be another you. Hello, hello. What? This was made in 2016. Let's see. Damn, he had 13.9 million. Hey, man, this right here is motivation, bro. He, sh he made this video in 2016, 2020 now. He almost has 17 million subscribers right now. Let that sink, man. 
That's why, hey, man, if you got a dream, go chase it, bro. Damn, I just got chills, bro, man. Hey, salute to this guy, man. I definitely want to see more YouTube of his videos. Purge. But the next video will probably be the million one, so cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Wear your seatbelts unless you're my roommates. Oh, <laughs> Wait, he said, wear your seatbelts unless you're my roommates. God damn. He really hated his roommates. Oh. Snoopy. Poor dog. Hey. Yo, this was hilarious, man. I definitely want to do more of these. So let me know in the comments if you know any other animated um show made by a YouTuber you want me to watch, and I will do it, man. But this is hilarious. I'm definitely going to watch more videos of this. Or if you have a favorite video from them, let me know in the comments right now, and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. But this is really good, man. This is really good. I love the animation, too, man. That's, that's fire, man. It looks really clean. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Y'all be safe out there. Hey, I saw it should be a video on my face right now. That's my newest song. It's called 2020. I just got to click the video. Wait, click the video on my face. And it'll take you right to the song. If you enjoy that song, make sure you smash the subscribe to my music channel, which is a separate channel for this. So if you go over there, you know, you enjoy the song, make sure you smash the subscribe over there also. Got a lot more music coming soon. Stay tuned. Hey, man. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And we out. So, little crown family. Yo.